Okay, so there's an order to operations for manifesting. Please tell. <laughs> okay, so it's I I call this um, the Captain Jack Sparrow phenomenon. Are you ready? Please. So, do you remember that bit at the end of Pirates of the Caribbean three? This is the easiest way I can explain it to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you I'm just gonna give you this little this little thing and and then we're gonna go off all right so you remember pirates of the caribbean 3 when jack um had like the black pearls gotten stolen from him again he's in the dinghy he's like i'm gonna fuck this i don't need a big ship i am the big ship and i'm gonna go find the fountain of youth myself yeah right and he's like looking at his compass that doesn't point north because it points to what he wants the most and the compass is pointing the opposite direction to the way he thinks it should be pointing. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? And then he realizes that the rum is sitting behind him and that he actually wants the rum the most right now, but he thought he wanted to go to the Fountain of Youth the most, right? Right. And so he's like, why isn't my compass pointing me? I know I should be going southeast, and it's pointing me northwest. Why? And then he was like, oh, because what I want the most is the rum, right? He wanted the rum the most. He gets the rum. And then the compass adjusts itself, points him in the direction he knew he was supposed to be going, and then off he goes. Yeah. Right? So that is actually the order of operations of manifestation. What you want the most has to come in next. The problem is that most people are out here trying to manifest what they think they should have next or what they think will get them to the next place or what they think they need the most rather than what they want the most. So they're actually going in the opposite direction of what they want the most. And if they just looked behind them and picked up the rum, whatever the rum is for them, right? So, you know, and then the compass would rearrange and point them in the direction of where they're trying to go. Yeah. So the thing is, is that people get caught up in this all the time, all the fucking time, right? And they're like, why am I not, why is this not working out? Why am I not getting what I want? Why does everything feel so hard? Well, it's because they're trying to sail in the direction of the rum when all they needed to do was look behind them, pick the rum up, have a drink, and then the compass would tell them to sail in the direction, you know, keep, keep on going, right? Yeah. But the compass is going to tell you to go the other way if what you really want is the other way, even if it's not a matter of sailing across the ocean in a dinghy, it's just a matter of looking behind you and picking something up. The compass is still going to swing in the direction of what you want the most. Yeah. So when you're not paying attention to that, you can actually end up, what if Jack had turned his boat in the other direction, Mm -hmm. never looked behind him, never picked up the rum. He would have sailed in the wrong direction. He He would have ended up in the wrong place. He wouldn't have gotten what he was sailing towards. Yeah. He would have just kept going in circles. He would have, he would have started going in circles because what he wanted was always behind him. Sitting in the dinghy right behind him. Not, he didn't need to sail in the direction of the rum. No. If he tried to sail in the direction of the rum, he was never going to get the rum. He was also never going to get the fountain of youth. No. But so many people are out here sailing in the direction of the rum instead of just realizing they need to turn around and get, pick up the rum and put it in front of them. And then (laughs) he has the rum, he's holding the rum in front of him. All of a sudden he's sailing and it's like, oh, okay, he has, he, Had a drink of the rum. He didn't just pick up the rum and hold it, though. Because he would have still wanted the rum. He had to give himself the rum. He had to have a drink of the rum. And then once that manifestation was complete, the compass was like, and now that you have had the rum, what you want the most is the fountain of youth. Let's ride, bitches! Let's go! But if he had never given himself the rum, if he had just held the rum in front of him, so just moving the rum around wouldn't have done the trick. It still would have been, he still would have wanted the rum. So the thing is, is that most people are looking for the really big stuff, the fountain of youth. Mm -hmm. They're not paying attention to the fact that they just want to freaking drink a rum right now. Yeah. (laughs) Which is funny given that I don't drink anymore. But, you know, (laughs) they just want that smaller thing. They just want that right now thing. They just want this thing that's right in front of them that if they had it right now, the sailing to the fountain of youth would be so much better if I had a drink of rum right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And here's the crazy thing, right? He has the drink of rum. 
Thir- it's Captain Jack Sparrow. So 30 seconds later, he might want another drink of rum. Yeah. The compass might adjust to the rum again. And then he recognizes, I want more rum. Right? Mm-hmm. And then he has a drink of rum and then the compass readjusts to his big goal. And then there's another small goal. So these are like side, these are the side quests in Manifestation. And so oftentimes people are working towards a really big goal, a house, um, a career, monetizing their magic, getting a job, a relationship, a baby, a car, a move, an award, um, some sort of, cre- you know, uh, I've had, I've literally had clients manifest, you know, um, TV shows, movies, all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, stuff like that. But then so often what would also be going on is, you know, we're caught up in this, in the stuff that we are programmed to believe is the big stuff, right? But then it's like, um, you know, well, what if you're trying to get your, your TV show on TV picked up by a major network or something? Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I really want to manifest a different apartment because this one is too fucking small. I feel cramped all the time. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually focusing on doing a lot more work at home these days. And I just, I just can't handle this anymore. My lease is about to be up. I could just re-sign this lease, but I don't want to. Sometimes you have to take a break from the big manifestation or some, maybe you're manifesting, um, buying a bigger house, but maybe it's going to take you two years to buy a bigger house and you'd be so much happier if you just leased a bigger house for a year Mm -hmm. and then bought the bigger house in two years yeah or maybe you know like i was for example like i realized a couple of years ago that like all of the stuff that i was manifesting with the business wasn't going to happen until i had actually let myself have the thing that i spent all of my time thinking about which was michael Right? I didn't know it was him at the time. Um, I just knew that there was this man out there and he was, it was going to happen, honeys. And, you know, it was like, and, and I literally, I was reading Astrology for the Soul by Jan Spiller. I saw that my North Node is in Pisces. My whole life changed that night. It was in 2021. Um, it was literally like three, it was two or three months before I moved to Georgia. And, um, and we got together like a couple months after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So literally like five, like less than, and I, and I knew who he was in, um, fuck it. I'll say it. I knew who he was in April of yeah. 2022. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. I am unhinged. I don't care. Yeah. I had the crazy realization of like, oh, this Guy that I've known and literally just been friends with just there literally. I mean, I always thought he was cute, but we just would talk and see each other socially. That was literally it. We didn't, we didn't even, we, we had never even private messaged each other private. Yeah, like prior to me moving our- to Georgia, we had never had a private conversation that was not overheard by at least two other people mm-hmm. prior to me moving to Georgia. And then we a couple months got- after I moved to Georgia, uh, we had, you know, we had actually hung out a couple of times. Yeah. Um, and he had started, you know, asking, we had, we had, like, we started talking just, you know, just about she spiritual was- stuff. And it was really cool. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, shit, that's the motherfucker I've been looking for for years. Oh, no. And then I no. said the same thing. I was yeah. like. And then we were, and then we <laughs> had the whole, have we ever been together in a past life conversation? And then the rest is history, as they say. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I I had to realize that. And I remember I was sitting on my couch in Plano, Texas. And I was like, what the fuck? I just realized, like, I was working so hard for something that was not going to manifest. Because that wasn't what I actually wanted then. What I actually wanted was you. Yeah. Aw, so cute. So, <laughs> um, so it's like... So much of the time, we're not paying attention to our soul's order of operations for manifestation. And it's just what you want. This is not what you deserve. This is not what you're worthy of. This is not what you've earned. This is none of that bullshit. That's all programming. Yeet the fuck out of that, right? We're not subscribed to those bad vibes anymore. What it is is just literally what your soul wants the most right now. And sometimes that is the fountain of youth and sometimes that is the rum. 
And you know the hilarious thing is I recorded almost this exact same podcast episode right after it was before we started dating, but it was after we had started like um actually having conversations. Yeah. Um I was so I excited this to be able episode. to talk to you. I know, I was so excited to be able to talk to you too. I recorded I it was even using the Jack Sparrow analogy. Yeah. Right? And I never released it. It was never heard. I think I recorded it in maybe Anchor, I can't remember. Um but it was it's not my voice notes. Um, and I don't know how to get I can't I, anyways, it's like I've always meant to re-record this episode. Oh, that's so cool. But now we are. So yeah, I I literally recorded this episode and you know about how you know, Jack Sparrow wanted the rum, and we do that all the time. And it's still completely valid and active in this new grid. That's yeah. really the way that it works even more so. You used to be able to trick yourself into just pushing through to the fountain of youth without the rum. Now it's like, yeah, no, you're, yeah, your, you soul's, can't do that anymore. your soul's <laughs> going to have a little BF and is going to be like, absolutely not. You give me what I want right now and then we can go to the fountain of youth. But otherwise, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to have a bitch fit about it. And we're not going to do anything. That's lit- That's like the energy of this new vibration. Yeah. is like you have to be willing to actually give yourself what you want right now. And you can maintain, you know, Jack wasn't like, oh, well, I'm going to give up on the fountain of youth because clearly all I want is rum. That's not what happened. No. He was like, oh, yes, you're right. It would be so much more pleasant if I had the rum here and if I was drinking it while I was sailing because the sunset's about to go down. I literally have nothing to do but wait as long as I'm on course. Yeah. So I'm just going to sit here and drink my rum while I wait to, a, you know what I mean? Because he knew that the, the compass was going to keep showing him where to go. Yeah. But when you're sailing from Tortuga to the Fountain of Youth in a dinghy... Especially after everything he had been through, I don't blame him for he had that just run. had a He had just had a whole experience. <laughs> they had just had a whole ass battle, and then the pearl got taken again. I mean, yeah. hello. Yeah. Of course. He needed a little R&R on his dinghy. Yeah. He'd... Sailing to the Fountain of Youth. I mean, what else are you going to do? He didn't have it. You know, he wasn't on a yacht here, people. He didn't yeah. have Netflix. Yeah. So he just wanted his room. If you were on a yacht, though, you might have had different desires, right? If he had still been on the Black Pearl... He might have had different desires sailing to the Fountain of Youth because he probably yeah. would have been carrying his rum around. It wouldn't have been like stashed under the seat. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like when we've been like, oh, God, the we, we, we're transferring Airbnbs and the weed bag is like tucked up in there. Damn it. I wanted the cart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Literally. So on that note, um, make sure you're paying attention to what you want right now. We're getting a phone call that I'm going to go take because it's definitely about something we want right now. And uh, yeah, go ahead and answer that. T- tap into your order of operations for manifestation. And I will talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.